All right, I'm back finally off of my short little hiatus to connection problems, but now it's time to give you the comparison between Gronk and Vernon Davis. First thing you're probably gonna know, to have both of these guys on the field and be able to use them at will, I put Gronk in the slot, and if you notice, as a receiver, he's 99 rated overall. That's because Gronk has 99 catch, 90 release, 95 route running, 100 catch in traffic, 93 speed, and his acceleration is a 99 as well. Look at the jumping. Gronk has a 94, but then Vernon Davis has a 97. As far as Vernon Davis goes, that 97 speed is one of the most crucial things, but it's crazy that Gronk has more acceleration than he does. The run after the catch stats are pretty crazy too. Gronk has a 97 stiff arm to Vernon Davis is 93. On the spin move, they both have an 87. And the juke move, Vernon Davis wins by one point with a 90. Run blocking is a huge deal in this stage of mud. And in that case, in every case as far as blocking, Gronk is the one that gets the nod over that. So let's go into some gameplay. I got the old school Pats uniforms because those are my favorite ones that they had. And so I'm going to make the defensive part quick. Homo throws an interception to Taylor Mays and we settle for a field goal right on the next play. After that, I gave the ball back to the Cowboys and all you Romo sexuals out there are going to be happy because Romo was able to do this and hit Dez there for a touchdown. So he's up 7-3 and now I got to kind of get my stuff together and make sure that these tight ends are big for me. There's that 100 catch in traffic from Gronk and I refer to that in past videos and that's kind of how we arrived here. Anyway, after trying to basically abuse both of those tight ends, I have to go to Kevin White right here over the middle and we were up 10 to seven. Never feel though, Romo was being Romo and chunking stuff up like this and the Honey Badger was being the Honey Badger and making picks. You notice that guys? I'm not making this up. You see how every video that I give to you, you got that combine warrior trying to run Matthew scoring points. Let's talk about route running and speed. You see right there how Vontae Davis just gets that separation against the linebacker. He's unguardable. Every time he did the two man under, I was there to basically just embarrass whoever he put in front of me. Remember that guy, the honey badger? Well, there you go. I'm telling you, man, he's not the tallest out there, and that's the reason why a lot of people stay away from him, but short of Steve Atwater or the flashback Jarius Bird, I think that's the best free safety in the game in the Honey Badger. But listen, the same thing that I showed you with Vernon Davis, Gronk can do too. That acceleration, the route running, just destroys man coverage in any two-man under scheme or cover one scheme. So after we give it back to the Cowboys, he chunks it up. Taylor Mays doesn't have the same catching Tyron Matthew has, so he dropped it there. Even on the screen pass in the congestion though, this is what Gronk does. I talked to you about the run after the catch stuff. It's similar to like Bo Jackson as far as being annoying to deal with from the defensive standpoint and playing with Gronk. Uh, my opponent saw enough because he knew that he couldn't guard what was happening with the tight ends. And I'm not going to leave you there with the gameplay because I feel like it didn't do Vernon Davis justice. Listen, Vernon Davis, Vernon Davis is a beast. You see right there, I, I basically also put him in the slot because I wanted to show you guys kind of what he was like. Here, that same play I called with Gronk, I called it with Vernon Davis as well. He has really good run after the catch stats also. But at the end of the day, guys, the one thing I got to say is it all depends on how you use your tight end. If you need your tight end to be a run blocker, then I think that Gronk card's gonna be the one for you. But I don't know because at the pass catching stats, look at what Gronk can do there. The difference is gonna have to come down to how much are you willing to spend? Right there you saw that my opponent tried to use her against Gronk because he knew where I was going and he still just made him look silly because of that run blocking strength. So the decision is in your hands as far as who I should keep. Gronk is worth anywhere between 500 to 600,000, and I think that's undervalued to be honest with you. Vernon Davis is somewhere around 100,000. But I could call Vernon Davis a poor man's Gronk without the height or the run blocking. Even though 6'3 is great, and even though he's 6'3, the 97 jump really makes up for it. So you tell me what you think in the comment section below. Let me know who you would get. If you have these players, let me know what your opinion is because you're going to have the most educated opinion. Don't forget to give us some likes. Sorry I was off for one day. And I got a really special video that I saved for you guys. 
up next. Stay tuned for that. Have a great day. A crossing route to that ultimate legend, Rob Brown. Oh! Damn, did you see that truck? And then the spin move. Adjustments. Jesus Christ. Oh my God.